So why has it been so long since you guys have heard from us and why on earth am I standing in this, uh, this grove of trees? But I want to explain uh, where we've been for, <laughs> uh, it's going to be a year at the end of this month. What you're looking at is the project in which we have taken on since literally December, I think December 12th of 2018. And this spot right here, and the reason I'm starting here is because this is what I hope this month is gonna be about. We are gonna build a A-frame cabin right here on this spot. And I'm hoping to, to kind of show the progression of us leveling these trees right here and opening this up. We're pretty high up on a hill. I have the camera slightly angled so you can't tell just how high up we actually are. But on the other side of this right here is a pond which sits here. And then over that direction is about a 4,000 acre lake. This property is new to us and it oversees uh, the Lake Pomona, which is, uh, we own all the property down to the lake except for the Corps of Engineers has rights to the first 200 feet because they flood the lake and it's been flooded most of this year. But we are using the property for what is known as a hip camp. And if you've never been to hip camp, go to hipcamp.com. You can find us on there, plus other thousands of uh, homeowners who rent their property out for camping. And that's what we're basically doing. I've had uh, nine, nine actual campers here this year from RVers to tent campers to people who just want to hike. Right here on this area, I have a three quarter mile track that runs the upper portion of the property and the baseline. So I'm really hoping that for next year, once we break ground and get this A-frame put up. Now this is a uh, Deke Deekerson A-frame. It's not anything fancy, it's super simple. It's supposed to cost under $1,200 if built correctly. And in my case, what I'm shooting for is trying to reclaim as many materials as possible to bring that cost down even further. So without further ado, let's take a look. Let's go take a look at the other side. You can kind of see what we're talking about for details. The idea here is once it's built, because this is a slope and I want a level surface, the cabin should continue out over the cliff of what's rock down here, because we're on solid rock in this path right here where we're at. Hopefully it'll extend over that. Let's go take a look. You can kind of see my mode trail here. Sorry, it's a little bit bouncy. I'm not holding a gimbal tonight. Normally I would do this with a gimbal, but instead you're attached to my tripod, which seems to just be amplifying the uh, monotony of the shake every time I walk. This area right here, this is where I want the cabin to be. Is So if all goes well, the A-frame cabin should the base of it will probably be quite a bit above my head up here and extend just in beside these trees, which I'll have to cut them all out and clean it all up. But the important part isn't that, it's, it's when you look to see what's in this area. Now this overlooks a beautiful pasture. This pasture is all brome. As you can see here, the beautiful color of the brome right now. now this is pretty weird for Kansas weather. We don't typically have this green of grass uh, first part of October. That's super rare. But I don't know how well you guys can see. You see this pond right here? So this is a beautiful little pond. Now, my understanding is it has a hole in it and it does drain, but it's been a wet, wet, wet year and it's been full. It has a beautiful waterfall kind of, you know, natural just falling portion on the far end where the dam is. But then that runs down the rest of the way to the lake from the hill you can actually see the lake it's it starts right over the pond let's see right right about here you can see it from there and then it carries the rest of the way all the way around us and goes another mile or so down the road we are on the upper end so this is the shallow side of the lake unfortunately but still i'm happy to be here we kayak we have paddle boarding we do uh what do you call that paddle boats we got paddle boats kayaks, whatnot. We don't have a boat, a big boat per se, but there is a rental location on the other side of the lake at the state park. 
but then the trail, which we showed you a second ago, continues right on down through those trees right there and goes another quarter mile all the way down to the lake, goes around, and then that is where my campsites are. And they've worked out really good. This area here is mowed, over there is not. Uh, during the peak season, the wildflowers, the wild sunflowers were all up and there were just millions of them. They were everywhere. And I had a really nice couple and there's a, there's a little brief shot and video of them who let me do, they basically modeled for me and they let me take some pictures and I'll show you guys some of that. It's absolutely gorgeous. Here's a quick overview of the entire area of what, what this area looks like, just how beautiful it is, how fortunate my family and I are to, uh, to have this property. It is stressful because this is just our lake house for now. This is where we get to have fun during the summer when the season is nice. Um, we aren't officially off grid, but we have planned to build all these future cabins, all the cabins we're building off grid completely. We, we plan to be solar powered, uh, wind powered if we need to be. We're gonna bring in our own water and whatnot. Uh, I doubt we're gonna bring up propane or none of that. I don't think I want gas on the property if we can avoid it. So in the future, starting next year, we're gonna begin offering this to campers, to people who wanna come out and get that off-grid experience. And I will show you what's so amazing about the Deke Deekerson's A-frame. It's, it's really unique because it's small to start off with. This is definitely a weekender. You don't wanna live in it. There will not be enough room for that. But you're talking 80 to 90 square feet but then the side, if I can give you an imagination here, this is your A-frame. Well, starting about four feet down from the peak, the whole side can raise up into the air, opening the entire A-frame to this beautiful view, which you see right over here. So it's gonna open up to this view, and this is what you're gonna get. Now, this is the setting sun side. You can see the sun is setting over there, and it's gonna be absolutely gorgeous. That's the hardest thing to find in this area because there's no big mountains. We have pretty mediocre hills. It is Kansas after all. And having the lake nearby is really, really rare. I don't know about other parts of the country, but all of our lakes pretty much here are man-made. The Corps of Engineers operate them. They build big dams and they control the water. This water controls the flooding from here all the way down to the Gulf of Mexico. And we do our best to do our part to keep the water from getting down there, flooding everybody else out during times of heavy rains. I'll get into that on another day because that's actually a story all in itself and I'd like to see if I can get with the rangers and talk to them. But for now, I'll let you guys kind of take in what you see. Welcome to uh, the first day of Vlogtober. And if you're interested in this and you want to learn as we go to build this and kind of see what building this A-frame is gonna be like, hang out with us. Be here every day for the rest of this month. I'm gonna do my best to do something. Like I said, I've gotta start by cutting trees back. I gotta start laying forms. I gotta put concrete, um, 36 inch round concrete pillars in the ground so that I have something to set my posts on. And it's, well, I've never done this, so it's gonna be interesting. Thank you so much for coming and visiting our channel. As Vlogtober, is a 31 day challenge to create a video over the 31 days of October. We actually partook in this last year, not quite completing all 31 days. This year, we are looking to be better at what we're doing, step up our game and having more to communicate about. As in the history of this channel, we have been a travel series vlog, but we are gratefully able to say we have decided to begin rebranding this channel. As much as we enjoy travel, it's just not realistically able to be done with the family, jobs, and finances that come into play. So we are steering in the direction of off-grid slash homesteading style living. Now, we're the furthest thing from being homesteaders by all means. But because of that, we get to learn and we get to grow as a community. We get to learn with others, we get to make mistakes, and you're gonna see a lot of stuff happening here. 
We have always had chickens and ducks and other fowl. And we've also got horses and we're looking into goats and maybe even some small cows in the near future. So <laughs> stick with us, hang out, enjoy this October 1st vlog. And please come back over the next 31 days and enjoy not only the great Vlogtober, but also we celebrate a lot of birthdays in this month. So you're gonna see a lot of people enjoying another year of their life.